Hi, I'm James Olin. I'm uh, the studio creative director for Bioware in Austin. So let's talk about what's new when it comes to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic's expansion. Uh, so Star Wars The Old Republic has a new expansion called Knights of the Fallen Empire and uh, it is adding nine new chapters to the Old Republic story. It's a really um, kind of a refocus of the Old Republic where we're focusing on epic storytelling where choice matters and where there's all the exciting companions and characters you'd expect in an epic Star Wars story. And uh, it releases in October. It's uh, free for subscribers and uh, after we release it, we're going to continue the story uh, in new chapters. We're hoping to do it on a monthly cadence. Talk a little about what the overarching story is. So it takes place uh, several years after the conflicts uh, between the Sith Empire and the Old Republic in uh, the Old Republic. And you are a character called the Outlander. And the Outlander is a, is a hero, a veteran of that conflict. And if you're a new player, you can create a brand new Outlander. Uh, the Outlander is a level 60 character, a veteran, powerful character. Um, and you can, continue, you can start the story as a brand new character, as if you were starting you know, an episode four of uh, the Star Wars trilogy. But if you're an existing player, uh, that means you already have the Outlander, because the Outlander is your character who's adventured through all the stories from the original Old Republic. He can be a Sith warrior, or a Jedi Knight, or a smuggler, or any of the classes. How has fan feedback over the years impacted what you guys are doing with this latest expansion? Well, I think every bit of feedback we get from our fans, both from uh, you know the message boards and from our cantina events and from the telemetry and metrics we get from just seeing what they're doing inside the game, is that they love story. They love story content and they want more story content. And so I think they're going to be very happy. Our focus is going to be give them epic story and continue giving them epic story as the game moves along. Uh, there's a lot you can do in this new expansion. Talk about some of the things that you think fans will be most excited about. I think the fans are going to be excited about the fact that this is really a love letter to fans of Knights of the Old Republic. It's epic. Bioware cinematic storytelling where we've focused on um, the storytelling aspect. It's some of the best storytelling and cinematics you've, uh, you'll have seen in the Old Republic. Also choice uh, matters a lot more than it has in the past. Um, it has great characters. Uh, the way we're doing story has made it a lot more exciting, a lot more cliffhangers. It just feels more like uh, you know a Star Wars, your epic Star Wars movie. For you. And speaking of epic Star Wars movies, how do you feel Episode Seven is going to impact just the excitement and potentially new players to this game? I think that uh, Episode Seven is going to have a, yeah, a big impact on Star Wars in general. Obviously, there's, there's a huge. It could be the biggest movie of the decade, um, and uh, I'm hoping it is because you know I'm probably one of the biggest Star Wars fans uh, that there is. So. I'm looking so forward to episode seven. Uh, J.J. Abrams, don't let us down. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to have a big impact. How have you guys designed this expansion for people that are stepping in for the first time? So uh, as I said before, uh, you're going to be playing, you can create your, a brand new Outlander. So you don't have to have played the game before. And the way we're um, uh, ramping you into the game with the first episode, or sorry, the first chapter, is uh, where we know that some players are going to be new to the game at that point, so we're not overwhelming you with abilities and powers and everything else. We're slowly ramping you into this new uh, the Outlander and introducing you to the game elements. So um, by the time you get to chapter two, you know how to play the game. And for veterans, obviously, of the game who already know how to play the game, that it's uh, there's not it's not going to be a tutorial, so they don't have to worry about that. But we're just slowly ramping you into into the powers that you're going to have to use to complete the chapters. Here at Gamescom, what are you guys showing new or talking about news post E3? Um, well, right now we're, we're kind of focused on talking about the Outlander and, and his role and uh, the fact that you're playing as the Outlander. Um, we still have a lot of new stuff to talk about even uh, post Gamescom because we haven't we focused on the, the story elements. We haven't really talked about all the other online systems that are a part of a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. And we're going to definitely be talking about that and how the story ties into that in the future.